Američki ambasador, gospodin Michael Kirby, sa svojom suprugom Sarom napušta Srbiju, završio svoju dužnost 29. januara. Ja sam otišla u njegov dom da mu postavim nekoliko pitanja o tome šta je ono što će da priča o nama, šta je ono što misli o nama. Primili su me u svojoj rezidenciji negde posle Božića i da vidimo šta su nam rekli. Your Excellency, hello. Hi. Hi, Mira Polak from National Television nice Serbia. Nice to see you. My wife, We Sarah. know each other. Yes. yes. Very nice to see you hello. again. First of all, it's very nice of you to receive me in your home. It's not just a house, it's a home. And so I wanted to point out our Christmas tree because this was important and Sarah put it together. But there are a couple of things that are Serbia. One is uh, a tennis ball with Novak Djokovic's signature. He gave it to you? Yeah, we got it from him. Sarah tries to make sure we have ornaments from all over the world and every place we lived. And so here we have the bridge, uh, the Adamos, the, the new one. And another one from Belgrade. And then of course we have uh, the Capitol and the White House from Washington. But it's sort of, we have them from all over. We got this one in Poland and then I'm a Cleveland Indians baseball fan so my daughter did me the symbol. Have you been happy in this house? Oh, yeah. yeah. We love it. What's there not to like that? <laughs> we like the house, but we also like being in Serbia. We've enjoyed it. We've met some nice people. Uh, I think Sarah's been busy. Last year, she was in charge of the International Women's Club, and they raised some money, over 100,000 euro, that was used to help people here in Serbia. She was happy to do that kind of thing. And then friends and tennis most days and stuff like that. When I started uh, my profession, you know, mm -hmm. this was the first residence where I walked in. Huh? It was with Eagleburger ah. sitting here and I was a journalist beginner sitting there. He's the only foreign service officer ever to become secretary of state. Of course. Yeah. He had a kind of uh, interesting analysis and different way of thinking. Do you know how many ambassadors I interviewed here? What do you think? Well, maybe eight? Exactly, eight. Oh. Eight ambassadors. You are my ninth ambassador in the same oh. house. Tell me, what did you learn in Serbia? One of the things I learned here is how much you all care about people. It's a, it's a people-oriented culture. Uh, you can't go into an office and not have coffee. Well, okay, they maybe give you tea, but you have to have something to drink. I think here you have to deal with the people you're dealing with in a personal basis as well. It's a sort of talking to a human being about issues that are also politics. A new ambassador is coming after you. Yeah. Are you going to see him? Yes. Okay. You are going to have a conversation with him, probably yeah. maybe here. It's going to be uh, Sarah and me with his wife, Nana. Now, what are you going to tell him? Don't assume you know anything about Serbia until you get to Serbia and you start talking to people. But the other thing I will say is, look, I think I had some success. But you also can succeed. Don't worry about the way I did it. Just worry about being yourself. I think that the people in Serbia like to see a human being. That would be, I think, the one. Do be a human being and things will work out. So when are you leaving? Well, so far I'm scheduled to leave. We're scheduled to leave on January 29th. Where are you going to go later? Washington, D.C. But not forever. Well, I am going to retire from the Foreign Service by September 30th next year. I've been 35 years as a diplomat, so I'll have to find another job. How are you going to use your experience? Because you have been serving in many countries. Really? Well, I've been, in my entire life, I've lived in 16 countries. But my father was a diplomat when I was born, and so I never lived in any place longer than five years. That's where Sarah and I met in Paris when we were both kids. So I'm not used to the idea of going to someplace and staying. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm still young. Uh, 
uh, this job could be analysis. Because, you know, if you are for a long time in this region, this knowledge is very useful. Well, I hope so. Um, you know, I was six years in Poland. I was ambassador in Moldova for a couple of years. Uh, I lived in Frankfurt, but I traveled to the former Soviet Union for two years. I was on the road a lot. And I have some experience in the region uh, and abroad. And, you know, here I think I've been trying to help companies see whether it's worth investing in Serbia. Is it? I think it can be. Um, I think Serbia as a market itself is fairly small, but as part of a region, it's uh, bigger. And I think certainly when you take a look at the countries around, uh, Belgrade is the biggest city. If you're going to be regionally, this is a good place to be. Now with Air Serbia, it's easier to get around. Most people like Belgrade as a city. As you know, before, many, many years before, State Department or American administration had very, very skilled people of a knowledge of Eastern Europe. Do you think that, that those people are still existing? But yeah, I think we have some very good people in the State Department. We have people who've been around a lot of years. Uh, my political chief, for instance, uh, worked for the office of the vice president. She was in Zagreb. She's here. Her Serbian's quite good. Um, we have a bunch of people like that. And so, yeah, I think we have some pretty good people. You know people. I'm asking you? Um, because I'm following these relations between East and West for a long, long time, maybe different way, maybe not so politically, maybe more emotionally. And we thought that Cold War is something which is finished. Now everybody's together. We are looking for a bright future. And then, you feel the tensions again between East and West, you know? The tensions are coming up. And then, of course, we are in the middle, you know? And as you know, we would love to stay independent. We would love to, you know, just to be important and independent. This is a good wish. And we are a small country. This is a reality. So, what we do? You don't have to choose. You can like both. We do some things well, they do some things well. I think you can remain independent and be in the EU. But also, when I take a look at what it's meant for these countries to be in the EU, for a lot of them it's been better for the citizens. Let's take a look at Poland. In 1988 we moved to Poland. Everybody in Poland wanted to live like the people in Yugoslavia. Now, if you take a look at their economy and yours, you guys might not mind an economy like theirs. And I think a lot of the changes that were necessary to transform from that socialist past, the EU helped push that along. And I think that that push is something that can be helpful for you. The question is, what kind of society do people in Serbia want? And it seems to me you want one where people can be confident that if they have the kids, the kids have a future that's bright in Serbia. Yes. Because I think you like Serbia. Of which course. also means that you would have an opportunity for a good education for them. And sometimes people wonder about education, not quite as good as it should be. Um, job future. Can my kids get a job? Can they get a job that pays enough that they can get an apartment? Can they get a job where they have confidence that it's what they know and not who they know that gets them ahead. These are the kinds of changes that I think you want and the kind of society you want to live in here. You're leaving, you're going back to America. Tell me, is there something you regret? I wish I had learned Serbian better. I understand it pretty well now, but you don't really get fully the mentality of people unless you know their language. And. Uh, I wish I understood it better. Yeah, I'll come back and see y'all. Well, I'm not supposed to come for at least a year. We'll be back. We just have to give my successor some space. He needs some space. That'll be fine. Thank you very much and Happy New Year. All the best going home and to you and to your families. Well, Happy New Year to you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, you. sir. Thank you.